start with a two star one cost champion. First time I've seen this one. Let's go for Scuttle Puddle. I actually haven't played Scuttle Puddle on Set 11 yet. Also, at the time of making this, um, I've, I've kind of been like procrastinating on playing today because I was waiting for the beat patch to drop. Um, they nerfed Gnar, like they made him get his stacks slower, and then Kaisa, they made her just weaker in general. They also changed a few more things. I can't re remember. But hopefully Gnar and Kaisa are knocked down a little bit now, so games feel a little more fair. Overall, I think this patch is fine. I just think there's a few outliers. But hopefully they can fix fix some of the things next patch. I don't think the patch is as bad as some people are saying. I think like patch is okay. Could be better, but it's not completely terrible. I have a Garen too, but I also have a like these two. Hitting an early, early Lowy is pretty good. Interesting, exalted. Two Arcanists start with a rod. This is probably. AP game. Another Arcanist. Eh, it's looking like a like an Arcanist or a Lilia game or something. I just tried to play a Lilia game. Uh, I went level eight. Didn't hit anything on my roll down. The rest of the lobby was super strong, so blood out. Unfortunate. It happens. And the thing with Lilia is if you don't hit her early. Like if you low roll Lilia on your low 8 roll down, it's even worse because like you have to stack her epic thing early. Otherwise this is terrible. Ink Shadow, I literally got offered that like exact same thing right here in this left augment in the previous game. My items don't really make sense for Sana. Plus, like this is a more of a Kaisa augment now. Let me just see what the rest of the lobby's doing. Anyone going Arcanist or like AP? I already have a game plan. I'm not taking one right trainer. Shiv, I already have a spark. Patient study lets me hit the board a little easier if I'm going to play Lilia. I kind of want to try patient study. I haven't used this augment in a while. Let's just do this. Could have played two Warden, but I kind of want another Backliner. I think Spark carries me this fight. Ooh, Garen's so tanky. The buffed version of Garen, this patch. Okay, it looks like never mind. Maybe, maybe I should have played two Warden because I had Spark. But I mean, losing here gives me some XP. Let's go for Warden. Or maybe this. Narpair. I think it's like, I don't have any fr um, backliners. It's just a one star Ari. Actually, I mean, to be honest, I don't mind losing the next round, because I have patient study. Patient study versus patient study. Oh yeah, also they brought back two streaks, which is really nice. Like, I was so sad when they got rid of this in set 10. Because of open forwarding, but now it's back. I think this is like a like two streak was a core part of TFT for a really long time, so I'm I'm glad they brought it back. Anyway, let's um 
Let's scout next round to see if anything illegal is happening. Okay, Arcanist. I'm pretty sure that the correct thing to do is actually... Let me see. I want to make 20. I think this is correct. Maybe this. I mean, the thing is, like, I, okay, I should maybe play Ari, because Ari has more single target damage than Lux. Like, an itemless Ari early game is actually, in my opinion, better than a, an itemless Lux. Like, if you just have two Arcanists in, I'm pretty sure Ari does more than Lux. It looks like, um, Spark carries me. So like here, like, I'm, I'm glad they brought back two streak because now here, like, I make plus one gold, which feels really nice. Bonus artifact. Diamond hands. Like, isn't this, isn't this thing just so unbalanced? Diamond hands is diamond hands. Like, Honestly, I could go for Trickster's Glass. It's actually, it actually seems pretty good. I also don't mind... Deathfire Grasp. It's also a rod. Okay, now I can go to Four Arcanist. Okay, funny enough, like... Ari has more, like, I'm gonna keep saying, like, Ari has more single target damage than Lux. So, I think it's good for taking down frontline, which is... Because, like, in the early game, frontline carries you for the most part. So, yeah. Also, think about Ari positioning, just in case, like, you're not aware. She hits one target and then two adjacent targets. So, you want to position her, like, kind of in the middle sometimes. Because you put her in the corner, she'll just hit two targets instead of three. But like, you have to be careful because stuff like this can happen. I wasn't careful this fight. It looks like a uh, spark. Hopefully he carries me this fight. It's been relying on this spark this whole time. Over time. It's close. <laughs> okay, that, that was bad positioning on my part. But like the, the general idea when you play Ari carry in the early game is you want to try to kill them. Like, for example, if you're trying to hit these targets here, you want to position Ari where she'll hit like the Yone, so she'll hit two adjacent targets. Also speaking of which. I want to make 40. Okay, Zoe positioning, like, doesn't really matter. You just want to kill the unit you want to take down as soon as possible. I mean, Zoe with DFG, she's going to kill this target pretty quickly. She has a lot of single target damage. They have really good front lane though. A Nico healing is pretty pretty solid. No, maybe I should have a rod on on Zoe. Maybe could have killed this guy. There goes my streak, but it's okay. Early Morgana. Well, I'm patient study with 50 golden, so I'm thinking Lilia here. Like, this exact comp I just had in my thing. Also, Lilia is... ...pretty uncontested because she's just hard to play. I think my spot's good for it though. Spark, frontline. 
DFG. The only problem is I need tears. Here's a warden. Allow you here would be really nice. Um, okay, tier, that's good. So JG, blue buff. Like I like I think this could be my damage item. DFG is like an anti-frontline item. I don't think Lilia really struggles with frontline, because she has some AoE targeting is I mean like backlink access access. The only problem with Lilia is she can miss her spell, so. I guess that's why people don't really want to play her. It's just four cost carry should feel consistent. Lilia sometimes whiffs, so yeah. Also, this is bad positioning. Looks like it doesn't matter though. This is gonna be a close fight. Dang. I mean, two streak and get plus one gold. Two encounters this stage as well. Recombobulator. This gives me a lot of stuff. I might as well just take it. Set. Syndra. Doubly <laughs> Sin. This guy. I mean, this will be my temporary, um... Like, Sindra will be my temporary carry. This is a really weird board. I'll fix my board next turn. Um, I mean, if it works, it works. I'm still gonna go for Lilia. I don't think I'm playing Syndra. Like, I don't know. I don't think. I, okay, it just depends on what hit I'm gonna roll down. This is actually pretty lucky because this is like a the Syndra board. Change of plans. Just play. Just play Syndra instead of Lilia. Probably. Okay, I took Recombobulator because... Like, my board was like pretty good already, but I wanted, I wanted the 5 cost. Two Trickster's Glass. Okay, let's see. Definitely duplicate you. And duplicate Leeson. Or I can... Balance front lane and back lane, right? Okay, these guys. <laughs> Stupid looking board. Like, the thing is, I have good Syndra items. But, like, you can't solo carry Syndra unless you play... Like vertical Arcanist, and I already recombobulated my Arcanist. That's why I feel like I can just get away with Lilia this game. This person's board is really strong. I mean, they got a free Diamond Hands, like, like yeah, yeah, and they have keepers. It's only two unit loss, because Tracer's loss. Triple spat. I c yeah, I think, I mean, if I get a spat, I can play Mythic here. Oh yeah, no, 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 no. I'm definitely playing Lilia here. It becomes a lot better with this spat as well. Like, I could take it for Faded, but, like... 
I'd need a rod and I don't think I don't think faded is, is really that good in my spot here. I think mythic is a lot better. So let's see. Um Mythic on this guy. Two Arcanist. Like the thing is like I slammed a mythic spy, but I don't even have a three mythic in. But it's fine. I'll find another one afterwards. Drop Blossom. I don't have burst damage or enough burst damage, so it's not very good right now. But looks like I'm gonna kill most of their board. Archangel's Nico. Yeah. Okay, so for this um this variation, I'm gonna go for the the one where you you play it when you go when you have the spats. So it's these guys here. As you play, you can also play this guy. Support artifacts. I think I'm gonna go for support. So I already have an orange item. Zephyr, let's be annoying. Oh, okay. That works. Yeah, I, I was trying to look for a, a mythic champion, not not Azir, but I mean, that works. So this person put a uh, Hole Crusher on set. Good thing they have a magnetic remover. Yeah, this is definitely just a, a Lilia game. Bard is just a trait bot, you don't play him in this comp. He's he's the odd one out when you play Mythics. Also this, okay, the thing I forgot to mention was Mythics become so much better when you play on an Econ portal. Or like you have Econ Augments because you can hit the Lilia a lot earlier than normal. Which lets you stack the Mythic pretty quickly before stage 5. Everyone power spikes by stage five, so if you if your Lilia doesn't have the epic bonus, good luck. She's not gonna do any damage. A lot of loot. That's a lot of belts. Okay. Sure, sure, sure thing. Alright, let's start rolling for this other stuff. Um, you temporarily. Okay, three Evoker looks kind of dumb. I'll, 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 I'll fix my items next turn. I think I'm gonna go for like Nashers and then Mono Item. So the Invoker I'm looking for is Annie. Gotta roll more. Use my items as well. I also need a Combat Augment. I have two Econ Augments. Uh, but yeah, Lilia 2, my board is good. I need to find Nautilus. And Kench, pretty much. Okay, since Lelia casts pretty frequently, I actually kind of want to try this augment. And bulk is like whatever. Or Radiant Relic. Hmm. I need a third item. Radiant item on Lelia seems pretty good here. Is 
This gives Anto heal and attack speed. Okay, let's go for this for now. Lilio 2. Okay, Orn 2. That's that's fine. This guy. Okay, let me... Let me replace the other units after. So the rush next turn. So I'm missing Annie. That's pretty much it. Go level 9. But like I wanna hit Lilia too before I go level nine. I can't I can't stabilize off of Lilia one. I must sell set as well, I don't need him anymore. Also need Hoi, but in the meantime I'll just play like Nico or something. Please, Lilia 2. <laughs> right. Pretty please. Okay, this this is this works too. I need to start using my Zephyr. I mean she's still getting the stacks, but I need Lilia 2. Pretty desperately. Looks like this is the only two. I think I'm fine. This guy sucks now. Like last patch, he was so impressive, but now he's like, he's like, eh. Would have won this if I had Lilia too. Okay, that's fine. No one else is playing Lilia, right? I'm gonna go for Crown Guard. It's like my only item I can make here. That makes sense. Okay, let's see. Dragon Lord. Yone. Story Weaver. Heavenly Morgana. Kaisa, of course. Draw Blossom and. Kane. Heavenly Kane. So. I can't hit Lilia 2 for some reason. Completely uncontested. <laughs> Please, Riot, what did I ever do to you? <laughs> like, I could understand if there's a Lilia player, but there isn't. That's the problem. Okay, yeah, three carries are on the corner hex right here. So I'm zephyring here. Please, Riot. Please give me Lilia too. I think Lilia's good, it's just hard to play the comp. Because uh, you have to hit her early stage four. You also like need Lilia two. Lilia one is not is not a real champion. Just Annie two. Okay, Kogma two doesn't matter. I mean, in the meantime, I'm just playing this guy because it's better than Cho'Gath. But Cho'Gath will make seven mythic really good here. But like, where's, where's my Lilia too? Okay, I think I'll be fine against this. Still Zephyring the two carries. Drop Blossom. Two star Kogma. I think I'm fine. The problem with this build here is she's just not tanky enough. So she just dies. Even with Unified and 
all the other stuff. <laughs> Please, man. <laughs> Where's my Lilio too? I mean, I, I mean, she got her epic bonus at least. I think if they made Mythic also count towards PvE, this combo would be a lot easier to play. Also, I don't have a single combat augment. I just have one that gives an item. I mean, if you count this as combat augment, sure. But I don't expect myself to place that high this game. Because I literally have no combat, um, like combat strength on my augments. Component and bills. Open adoptive home. Lilia. Lilia. <laughs> Riot. Riot. And here's Huey, at least. Alright, forget it. I'm going level 9. I'm going level 9. Like, who cares about Lilia? Um, wait. Is this better? I don't know. I need Behemoth. Sorry, I'm a little I'm a little tilted now. <laughs> okay, this is Kane 1. If I lose this fight, it's a lot of, lot of questions. It's okay. I'll I'll natural Lilia 2 next turn. It's it's fine. Like this fight did not have to be that close. It's only that close because. Where's. Okay. This deer does not like me. She keeps avoiding me. Oh, there. Okay, okay. I was right. Actually, I'm pretty sure this is better. Let's go for. Redemption. Nice. Yeah, what a what a what a what a stupid game so far. I'm gonna I'm gonna suffer this guy right here. I'm just gonna keep my thing in the corner. Here, have a tear. It represents how much I'm crying right now. <laughs> okay, let's uh let's go low nine now and just play the Annie. That's my board. Like Lilia's good if you can hit this board. The only problem is like again, it's just so hard to hit the board. Let's hope I don't bleed out. At least it's not in 8th place. Oh, oh geez. Like, I don't want to like, okay, hold on. Uh, actually, four invoker is kind of important here. I think dropping Annie was was actually a mistake. Zephyr the Kaiser. I'm finding ghosts. Okay, this fight, I'm fine. Yeah, okay, four invoker is pretty important here. You can't drop it. That's a good thing to know when you play Lilia in the future. Okay, first pick. Stage 5 carousel, that's pretty good. Mythic emblem? No. These are all offensive items. I mean, I, like, I guess I could just itemize away. I really need to go level 9 here, so... Um, yeah, I mean, I could have hit level 9 if I 
if that Lilia silliness didn't happen. I'm actually scared of this board. It's actually pretty scary. Okay, one more turn before I can level. Down one item as well. Person's level 10. Oh no. I'm actually gonna suffer the middle here. Okay, I suffered. The, I unintentionally suffered the Nico here. I w like I wasn't even intending to. I was, I was trying to suffer. This person's on zero. Okay, hopefully I can. Okay, nice. I think if she cast it again, she would have killed Lilia. It was also looking like a pretty close lobby. Okay, finally. Alright. Let's position like this. Oh, this is way too- this person has a full legendary board. Swap sides. I don't Zephyr the Bioni this time. Or like, the Nico was here last time, it would have Zephyr if the, if the Kindred wasn't here. Looks like Yoni's about to die though. Oh, I guess I don't have to be scared of this board. Never mind. Okay, honestly, I will take a top 4 here due to how long it took to get Lilia 2. A nice way pair. I was, so, I was so distracted last round, I didn't even put the Nash's Tooth on him. Let's see, level 10, I really had two physics training on me. Did nobody take combat augments this game? I guess not, I mean, there's like no combat augments. Or if they are, they're just silver augments. Lily at three. Archangels. I don't need set. Is there two? All right, it's looking like Lily at three. I did not suffer an important unit. There's so much, so much on the screen right now. I actually can't. I mean, I mean, this Lilia is like pretty good burst damage, but so does their board. Yeah, that hurts. I mean, they're little nine keepers. They have a common argument. Yeah, I don't think I don't think I'm gonna top four here unless this player dies. Um, <laughs> well, I guess we'll find out. Which I'm Zephyr the Aurelia probably. I think that Aurelia is more scary. Uh, yeah, I don't think I'm beating this. Too many legendaries on the board. They're all upgraded. I just don't think my board is strong enough. Yeah, 
Yeah, it's not it's not enough. I mean, it's a fourth place. <laughs> um, I'm surprised this board kept up as well as it did. But yeah, as I said earlier, the, like the low rolls, they do happen where you're trying to find a forecast unit. I think if you have a good game with Lilia, though, like you can definitely win games. I think she's just hard to play. So I think Lilia is a good champion and a good carry right now. She's just a little bit too hard to play. So hopefully Riot does something about that next patch.